All right, so I wanted to make a video specifically about Galactic War for newer players. If I'm not mistaken, Galactic War opens around level 40. So just wanted to kind of, I don't know, give some pointers and insight. So for starters, Galactic War is ridiculously um, important. As you see, there's 12 nodes here. The purple boxes in the back give you the best prizes. Oh, no, no, actually, no, the white one, the, the gold one's in front. Hold on, how does this work? Oh, no, yeah, it's the purple ones in the back. They give you the best prizes. So, you definitely want to be doing this every day and doing it to the absolute best of your slash your squad's ability. Um, because you don't want to miss out on any of these prizes. First off, even as a later player, I don't want to miss out on any of these prizes. Never mind as a newer player, you definitely want to be getting all these rewards there's so much that you get in here. you get character shards to upgrade the star count on your characters you get a lot of good gear to slap down on your characters you get a lot of ability uh, mats so you can upgrade their uh move levels whatever you want to call it you also get a good amount of credits i think it's like six hundred thousand credits a day or something like that um, when the time comes, you also get some ship credits, not nearly as much, but still, you just end up getting a lot of decent stuff, and this is every day you can get this, so you definitely want to be doing this. Now, I don't know if things have changed. Last I knew, you had to, I think it was you had to win 50, uh, Galactic Wars, and then you unlocked the ability for multi-sim. Now, I'm not entirely sure, because I know somebody who has just started playing the game maybe about a month ago, and they just reached I th level 40 a couple days ago, so they have uh, Galactic Wars available, and it says for the sim to be level 85, so I don't know if they've changed it so that all you have to be is level 85 now in order to multi-sim, or what the situation is, but in any case, you can't multi-sim at first, you have to do this. So anyways, this was the completion of my Galactic War yesterday. So now today I'm going to restart it. Boom. Now normally I would just multi-sim the whole thing because pff, that's, that's what makes sense. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually do this battle so that then you can get the details and understanding of everything. So yeah, let's get it. I'm not going to go super OP either because... Again, for the context of this video, I want there to be not a challenge, but, you know, a mild enough challenge. A good enough variety of characters so you can get the full idea. So this might be a little bit stronger than what you're at, considering that you're probably like a level 40, level 50 player. You know, my squad's all 7 stars. Um, they have Zetas. Well, I guess just one. Cara has got her Zeta. Um, you know, a bunch of gear 11s here, but still. So the very first thing is do not put this on auto. Do not. As I've said before, auto is very stupid. You do not want to be putting a game mode like this on auto. Because here's the other thing. If you lose a character in this, in this round, they're dead for the rest of this galactic war until tomorrow. So, you no longer have access to them. They don't just die in this round, and then they're back for the next note. No, they're gone. <laughs> Until tomorrow. So, you want to make sure that you're keeping your guys as on point with one another, and as, as alive for as long as possible. Um, the second thing is that um, when these characters use their moves, the cooldowns remain between rounds. So again, right there, I'm not going to use the taunt. There's one character left. I'm just going to kill him. I'm not going to waste my taunt when I could use it at a later time. I'm also not going to use a special because why am I going to use a special when there's one character left? Just for the purpose of demonstration, I'll show that next round. So collect this prize. This is something worthless because the first box always is. Let's go into here. Oh, that's the, that's the other thing too. Any statuses stay. So... Say you lost some health and protection, that's how you're coming into this battle. So say a character doesn't die, but they get whittled down to, I don't know, three bars of health, and that's it. Well, next round, when they come in, they're starting at three bars of health. 
So you either need to have a healer on hand that's ready to take their turn and heal, or something. Otherwise, you're going to lose them. Anyways, just take him out. Bink. Throw this. Bink. Do this. Bink. I'm just trying to use up all these specials just for the purpose of showing you how the specials cooldowns remain. This might not work because these have all short cooldowns. Old Ben's might be there, though, just so you can see what I mean. Because this is something that you're going to have to be mindful of. Especially for these back nodes. These purple back nodes are a little bit harder because they're kind of like... If you want to count each portion of the, war, as, of the war as like its own little grouping... Then the purple's like the boss for each group. So it's a little harder. So you want to make sure that you have the most OP moves available for you to start with. You don't want to go in and, you know, be missing some, some potential. Like, see right here, Wedge. I can't use this because I used it last time. I still have a cooldown of two. So I only have his basic. Same as Kara. I can't use the bomb move because I used it last time. I can't use his... Um, whatever this move's called, mind tricks, because I used it last round. So, just things to keep in mind. Um, uh, now, like I said, actually, if you saw my my little tips and tricks video that I made for new players, I said don't go after tanks, because they don't put up much damage. You want to go after somebody who's actually going to hurt you. This is a perfect example. I'm not going to go after old Ben. One, he's not taunting yet. And two... Um, if I kill him, he's gonna give the rest of this the crew all these buffs. Do I really want to make them stronger? No, I want to take them out And now it's just him and a healer so boop get her going there and now it's just him if he goes and taunts for whatever reason It doesn't I don't care. He's my last option anyways, which he didn't even get to take a turn Let me see. We should have a slightly better prize in here as well. No? Hmm. Um, I think I'm just going to go up to the midpoint. Because then I can show you about the currency. By the way, this team that I chose... You know, I'm not trying to use this team as like, Oh, make sure you're using this squad. Um, territory... I mean, Territory War as well. Galactic War... Is much like Cantina. You can use whatever characters you want whenever. There's no limitation, there's no restrictions. So, this is just what I happen to choose. But whatever's in your roster, go to town, have at it. Like, obviously, I have better characters I could have used. I just chose not to because I wanted to try to make this a little bit more accurate as to what a new player may see versus going in with my full Relic 6 squads. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, so... I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I just want to show the last round just so I can have some currency to use for a uh, talking point just to show the store. But yeah, so keep in mind, tanks last unless there's a Dooku. Do Dooku last. Also keep in mind, any damage stays between the rounds. And do not auto. <laughs> this, the game is too stupid to handle autoing, especially when you're at a weaker level. Your character's not... Like, I could probably auto this no, no problem because, you know, my characters are strong enough. But when you're weaker, no, auto is terrible. It, it just screws things up for you. I mean, I, the person that I know that just recently started playing this... <clears throat> playing this game they autoed the first round and couldn't get past it because they autoed so wow this this crew kind of sucks it's actually all tanks but yeah because they autoed <laughs> they lost in the first round now granted you can use another team but still that whole squad is eliminated because <laughs> they autoed anyhow this is kind of convenient right here because this actually has a Dooku. So this is this shows exactly what I was talking about. Like you want to avoid him because the stupid counterattacks. We might be able to just take him out though. Yeah, we were able to take him out, so that was cool. That's another thing to keep in mind as well. Um, Boba Fett's have the capability to come back after they're killed. If they if if it's beefed up enough and it has that little Mandalorian logo as like a buff, that just means that it can come back. 
So you kill it, but it, it revives. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. Sometimes your strategy might be to go after the tank first, depending on how beefed up that uh, bounty hunter is, that, that boba is. Say it's got like a lot of health and protection and you took a lot of time to whittle it down. I mean, when it comes right back, you got to do that again. So maybe you're better off going after that tank first. That way, then you can get that five on one. Anyhow, Galactic War tokens. So if you're able to complete a Galactic War, what you get is enough to buy three bundles of whatever you choose in here. Um, you know what I mean? So you can get like Zab, Luminar, and Cad Bane. You get 1,200 crystals. Again, as a new player, definitely focus on Zeb, because then you can build up that Phoenix squad. But, you know, there's other options in here as well, whatever you might be working on. I don't see anything that's, like, super sticking out at me other than Zeb. Maybe you could work on Biggs. When the time comes, he has a ship. He's also a decent rebel, so you could use him for the Emperor Palpatine event. Um, as you saw, I was using Biggs and Wedge and uh you know the other characters in my team they're doing pretty well together i just say bigs and wedge, wedge because you know they got the synergy but but yeah so i'm just gonna go in here and buy the ship just because it's going in the shard shop and that gives me the most and i'm just gonna multi sim this just to show you the rest of what you can get as you see a whole bunch of character shards we get the 800 more currency 15 more crystals four hundred forty five thousand dollars and ninety five thousand ship dollars as well as training droids and ability mats. So that's the value in Territory War. I mean, jeez, in, um, what is this called? Galactic War. And yeah, you just, you just wanna make sure you do this every single day and try your best to complete. You're not going to every time, especially as a newer player, because you don't have enough teams beefed up and the teams that you do have beefed up may not be beefy enough. So you're not going to complete it every time for a while, unfortunately. But still, you need to try. Even if you can only get up to, say, node 9, that's at least 8 nodes that you cleared. Or possibly the ninth node as well, and then you just couldn't make it past that. But that's still all those prizes that you got. So make sure you're doing this every day. And, uh, I mean, you kind of have to anyways, because as you see right here... It is a daily, but the daily only requires you to complete a Galactic War battle. That just means one. It doesn't mean the whole entire uh, Galactic War. It just means one node. And even if you lose, you still get the credit for participating. So <laughs> it's not as intimidating as it sounds. But regardless, it does put this here as a reminder for you. And then when you do all your dailies, you get this. But anyways, yeah, that's Galactic War basically in a nutshell. Um, I just wanted to go over that because it is a very critical mo game mode. And I just don't, I don't want people to kind of overlook it. Like, ah, I don't want to deal with that. It's too much work. Well, if you want to be serious about the game, you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for now. Thanks for checking this out. I hope it helped you any. If it didn't or if there's something missing... Let me know. Ask a question down in the comments. I'll answer it. If the question's in depth, not in depth enough, but if it has the potential to be in depth, en depth wow, in depth enough, that then I can make a video response instead. And uh, yeah, so until next time, I said see ya.